game gets him right around the 43. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 43 yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now Ben going to give this one to Connor. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see. Yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Seven yards there and a first down. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yard you're looking for, right? Let's go use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. A good pickup there, 21 yards. He's checking, he's checking. Blue draw, Parker. Spin. On first and 10 is counter. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Easy, easy. Check 99. Roethlisberger will hand to Connor. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. They'll run on first down. It's Connor, and he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Recon, 152 fighter. On second down, Connor looking for space. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say? Play action. Yeah, yeah without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. They're going on fourth down. It's Roethlisberger. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Mark Ingram. And he'll be taken down at the 18. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Second down, Ingram. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. No score after one on EA Sports. This is Ingram on first and 10. 
And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. They run. It's Mark Ingram. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. A running play on first down, and it turns into a fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And now Jackson will look to throw it. And this one complete to Seth Roberts. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. On first down, Ingram. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. He was taken down by Two yards on the pick up. It's second and eight. At the Steelers, 46 yards. 50, 50. Watch the slant. Slant, slant. Move, move. Zip it. 50, Mike, 50. Watch, watch the run, watch the run. Throwing on second and eight, Jackson. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. He finds Roberts complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Edwards now on first and 10. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Second down, it's Edwards. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Oh man, I wasn't watching the clock. Oh, you gotta watch the clock. Welcome back, Charles and I settled into the booth. You idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm a total bonehead. I wasn't watching the clock. Oh man. Gotta watch the clock. Oh, man. Gotta watch the clock. So no scoring in our first half. What will the second half bring as we are now back underway? Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Set, 
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And we thought this game had the potential to be tight. Maybe not this tight, scoreless, as we start the third quarter. And I love the way you use the word tight. I'm going to take it a little bit different direction here because it's not just tight on the scoreboard. I think both offenses have been tight in how they... Yeah, yeah I got a play. Joe Hayden, the veteran oh. with a pick. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Looked like some hands both ways. They got it on the offense. And sometimes there's a fine line between being the receiver and the DB, and he knocked that one away. Might have caused an incompletion that could have been an interception. It's a give to the right. Ingram. And not much there at all, as he'll get this only up to about the 11. The tackle there by Mark Barron. Uh. Set him back five. For this second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Here's Jackson on third and long. Eluding the pressure right. Get out of the end zone. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. The decision to tuck and run gets him three, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that officially. Give him 15. And the Steeler offense, they're set up nicely as they take over. Here we go, here we go. Lock 80. 50. Watch tight end. Watch tight end. Tight end's right. Tight end's right. Throwing now. Roethlisberger on first down. And yes, complete to the tight end McDonald. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Pittsburgh getting 16 yards there and also a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pick up on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Now it's Connor. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. 
His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through them. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Eleven more on that one and another first down. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. They'll run here with Connor. And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Taking it in from four yards out as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Well, these two teams battled through a scoreless first half. Finally, a breakthrough here in quarter number three. And I just wonder how that played for both of them psychologically. Because when you battle through a scoreless first half, now you know that every possession is increasingly crucial. Who can put points on the board, make the other team chase? Wonder if you get a lift and if they get deflated a little bit. Let's just feel it at the goal line. Turn here, he gets it out to the 25 yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. These guys had to punt last time, it has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Watch twist, watch twist, watch twist, 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 twist. One, three, spell. Second and nine, Jackson buying time to his left. And that one not to be, it's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Back now in Pittsburgh, it's the Ravens with possession of the football, but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Take it in at the 22. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Steelers will go on offense here. First and 10. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and 10. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. It'll go as a gain of seven on the play, and it sets up a third and inches situation. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. They have the first down with that gain of four yards. 
Check the Ripper. Ripper. On first down, it's Snell again. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously. But at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout. So that will leave them with no timeouts left. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how that affects things here in this fourth quarter. On second and 11 now, Roethlisberger. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves here we go, here we go. before we're actually starting. making one. And none of them being done very confidently. Truth be told, I've never played chess, and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Here's Jordan Berry now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And we've seen drive after drive come up empty for them. And they've yet to dent the scoreboard, yet still right in the middle of a one-score game. So this is where you absolutely have to forget everything that's happened in your previous drives. They don't matter right now. You just mentioned it. One-score game, this drive here can erase all of what happened previously. Second and 12, Jackson. Open man is the tight end, Nick Boyle. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Jackson to throw. Flushed out right. That's into the hands of the tight end, Boyle. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Too much time. Six man. Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. Yeah. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team that's playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. Tie this thing up in the final minute. And while it appears the heavy lifting 
was accomplished by scoring the touchdown. They're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Heck of a game right here. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. The typical Baltimore Ravens and Steelers game. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. You've got to take care of the football here. Now their opportunity to take the lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll run with Ingram here to begin the drive. What a spinning for. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. Ingram again, a first down carry. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Throwing now is Jackson. That's caught by the former Sooner, Mark Andrews. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And you know, in an era of cost-cutting and maximizing your roster, this is a club that does not skimp on special teams, and in these situations, it pays dividends. And that's great vision by the organization. When the difference between winning or losing depends on who you have kicking the ball, would you rather have a street-free agent out there or a solid pro like this? Answer's pretty evident to me. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One to get yourself in position. He's got a man complete. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot.